Hey, how's it going? I hope you're the best of your life. I am doing my best. So I am doing something that helps me self-medicate in essence, which is I bought a journal from a Goodwill for a dollar or two bucks, I guess it technically was, because you can find a ton of like really good journals, like a buck there, it's amazing. Um, so for me, I do best when I really, really plan out my weeks and my months meticulously. And it's, it seems over the top to a lot of people, but it, it's pretty normal for people who are pretty tight bay. Um, but for me, the more I really figure out my time, and also the thing is, I function best when I have a decent amount of me time. And it's not like selfish time per se, but it's just like time to like think, plan, decompress, stuff like that. I'm just so much more productive throughout my days, my weeks, everything else when I plan that. So there's a decent amount of like action and shutting up and working you have to just always do. But also for me, when I kind of schedule out in advance, when I know like, okay, this is my period where I'm gonna go really hard and then I'm gonna decompress these days. This is my season when I'm gonna really focus on this, then I can just decompress. That helps me work a lot. So for me, business-wise, I know if I work a certain way over these next few months, it'll set my year up to be really, really prosperous and good. And so I'm gonna really make sure that happens on my end. Um, but if not, like you know, like not not so great. So we're gonna avoid that. But so for me, it comes down to the fact that I can write things out. And so. For me, I was recently reading about um, being that your brain has difficulty really seeing in the future, terribly long term. Like even a year out is really difficult for us. So it's really good to set goals quarterly. And I've always done that, but setting goals quarterly is really good. And also for me, I kind of have my 90 day, my quarterly goal. And also to help me hit that, I also am planning a uh, like a week vacation at the end of that quarter. So I get a full week just to like fully decompress, to reset, to rest, relax, and also kind of reestablish, see where I'm at and see what I need to get going the next quarter to make it industrious and productive and really plan it out. Um, and also with that all being said, um, writing out exactly how much money I need to average per day, per week, per month, all that stuff is super helpful for me as well. And it just kind of gives me a good clear goal and helps me realize, okay, I'm on track or I'm not on track. I need to do this. I need to not do this. Blah, 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 me, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. That helps me out tremendously. But it all comes down to the fact that I sit down with my journal, I write it out, I think on it, I kind of figure out the problems and I'll oftentimes sit down and I will think, okay, what would I do to totally screw up this goal? Okay, what would I do to totally make sure this goal worked? Or whatever it may be. And, and when I think through it more and more, it becomes really crystal clear. And it also makes like um, supposedly scary obstacles seem like it's not a big deal anymore, which is super helpful for me personally. And so I recommend if you're someone and you're not sure what you wanna do with your life, sit down, with a water, a coffee, whatever it may be, and just write this out. And that's when I'm really realizing, okay, like why well, I've been getting headaches recently. Well, yeah, my diet sucks. So yeah, that would explain my headaches. Um, why have I felt anxious? My diet has sucked. Um, but also like, what do I need to do daily? What are my exact tasks daily that I must do no matter what? And yeah, so life should be easy. Anyway, thank you for watching. You're beautiful, amazing. I'll see you later, right? Hopefully that helps. Adios, bye-bye.